Hey guys, what's up? It's more makeup, please. So today we are, why am I waving this around? I've literally just been like, <laughs> so today we're gonna do, I don't really know what we're gonna do. I have the look in my head, but you know, who knows how it will turn out when we get to beat in the face. So let's just get into it. So I've already applied my soft ochre paint pot and now I'm just applying a base. I'm gonna take these two orange shades and apply them in my crease to act as my first transition shades. And I'm just blending back and forth and in circular motions as I'm going back and forth. And I'm making sure to blend in the whole eye socket area, really taking advantage. I'm gonna take that deepest orange and place it as my third transition shade just to give my eye some depth. This shade is optional because as you can tell, you probably can't even see it, but I still included it. Next, I'm gonna start cutting my crease. It's gonna be a half crease. So I'm just really taking my time because this is not something that I would say I'm super great at, but if you take your time, it definitely is helpful. I like to cut it right above my natural crease so that way it doesn't bleed on top of the colors. And it's easier if you draw the line first and then just drag the color down from that line and then just kind of blend it outwards. Blending with my finger so that way it's easier to diffuse when I place the eyeshadows on top. And now I'm going to take this blue shade. Oh, so pretty, you guys. Camera doesn't even do it justice. Like the palette is just so beautiful. I just like want to bathe in it. So I'm just packing that color on pretty densely. I want it to be pretty vibrant. And I'm doing it in a winged motion as well. And I'm just kind of going back and forth between blending and packing on the blue shadow because I didn't want the shadow to get on the orange pot. And basically this orange shade is just to cover that up. Blending some more, blend, blend, blend. And I'm gonna be taking this shade and just packing it on the inner part of my lid. And placing it a little bit on the blue and kind of just placing the blue a little bit on the gold so that way it can diffuse each other and it looks pretty seamless. Next, I'm going to be taking this lighter shade and just adding it on to the inner corner of my lid. I'm also going to be highlighting, so yeah. And I'm highlighting in Sphine from my Blink Cosmetics palette. Oh, I just love that shade, you guys. It's lit. I'm just going to spend some time blending my brow bone color into my transition shades just to make sure it's super gradient and super smooth. Yes, queen! Yes! I hope you guys really liked this look. If you did, remember to like and share with your friends and follow me on my social media. Tell me what looks you guys really like. Do you guys look, like more looks like these, like super bold and intense, or do you like more natural looks? Do you like videos where I do just voiceovers and it's me not like rambling out to you, or do you like me doing a talk Just let me know so I can help, so I can help bring better videos to you guys. Because I love you guys, and this is like, like, I don't have a lot of hobbies, but this is definitely one of my passions, and anything makeup related is definitely where I need to be, so keep on keeping on, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!